There's a big old tornado right there. We was behind that. See, everything blowed away except this one little section. And this is where we were. Ruth Montgomery opens this box several times a year. That's one thing about me, I keep pictures. All with images and words written about April 27, 2011. It was horrible. When we came out of our closet and looked out, everything was gone. Everything, trees, everything, just laying in the streets, you know. We, we didn't know what to think. It was a Wednesday evening in the town of Ringgold when an EF4 moved through the heart of Pachusa County. The landscape and buildings forever changed. Current emergency management director Steve Quinn remembers the moments following in slow motion. Debris, funnel on the ground, 41 at 140. Then he was a battalion chief firefighter at Catoosa Station 1 in Ringgold and saw the wedge-shaped tornado closing in. When the tornado came over us, I got on the radio and said, you know, Katusa, this is Battalion 3. Uh, we have a confirmed tornado. Uh, you know, go ahead and start sending help. Quinn and his team made it four blocks before downed trees and power lines blocked every road. To help, they had to hike. All these homes here, they were all hit. Also on foot, City Council member Randall Franks with the town's emergency response team. I could have never imagined how surreal it was to walk these streets, to go through these yards, every power pole, every tree down. Former city council member Ray McClanahan didn't survive. He was downtown in his home when the tornado hit. Somehow, hundreds of people sheltering in restaurants and gas stations right off the main interstate exit escaped alive. Hey, if there was ever a time when God took his hand and put it on over to protect people, it was right here. Because we were anticipating that there would be hundreds of fatalities along that corridor. Because these, these restaurants were gone. All that was still standing on some of them were simply the coolers. The tornado strengthened as it passed east of the downtown area and into Cherokee Valley, claiming an additional seven lives before reaching Tennessee. In the main damage path, buildings were unrecognizable. The tornado took trees and shredded them like a pencil sharpener, wrapped metal scraps around power poles like flimsy pieces of tin foil. Ruth Montgomery's house was one of nearly 700 buildings either damaged or destroyed. And everybody thought I should be mad. I said, no, I'm not mad. And they said, why are you not crying? I said, I'm alive. That's why I'm not crying. Ruth Montgomery's house may have been destroyed along with her church, Mount Peria Baptist, which is just a few doors down. But even though the building was destroyed, when Sunday rolled around, it didn't matter. Yeah, we really celebrated. We had all races and some from near and some from afar. And uh, we were just blessed with that service at that time. So, you know, you think the Lord says, uh, well, two or th three are gathered together touching and agreeing, I'd be in the midst. So he was there that day and we felt the spirit. Christian Aid Ministries, the Mennonites and Amish all brought volunteers. With help from FEMA, GEMA and one another, most of Ringgold rebuilt. Catoosa County's COAD Community Relief Organization raised over $500,000 to assist more than 160 families to find a new normal. But 10 years later, there are still several empty lots and concrete slabs littered throughout Ringgold, waiting for the next visionary to join the community.